Hey Metalheads and Headbangers, this is Double Passion. You're watching Reality Check TV. I wish you a great time and keep on rocking metal. We're here from Los Angeles, yeah. California to pay tribute to Doro Pesh, yeah. our favorite singer of Bend all time. Bend down, Chicago That's Bears. right, Doro Pesh. Support Doro. <laughs> Whenever she comes around, I haven't seen her since 1992 at the Stone. I think it was 92. It was 90. It was 90 at the Stone. Oh, yeah. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen of San Francisco, California, and the heavy metal world. How do you like playing with Doro? Come on. Come it's on, man. Cool. This is my 20th year, so I don't think it would have happened if I didn't like it. I wouldn't still be here. I would say that's probably a good good yeah. summation. It's, uh, it's, you know, she does her thing. It's easy to follow along. It's, you know. She, she's inspirational, isn't yeah, she? Totally. Good gemacht. Good gemacht. And all your fans would say, ich liebe dich. They, you know, they all would say that, but they don't know how to, maybe. <laughs> ich liebe die Fans. I love the fans. Doro, it's so good to see you again. Uh, good to see you guys, and good to be here in California again. And yeah, you remember the last time we did an interview? Yes, it was actually, yeah, in 2000 when we did this. Oh, on, we were on this wonderful tour with Ronnie James Dio and Ingrid Malmsteen. And actually, here in San Francisco was our very first gig in the Fillmore. And yes. it was the start of a fantastic oh, tour. So and I must say, on this tour, we became really great friends. Yeah. Because in 87, we toured together in Europe. But I couldn't speak English that well, so our mm. conversations were limited. I was always like, yeah, have a great show, and great. And that was it. But in 2000, we, yeah, we really. Yeah, yeah, because like, like uh, when, when you played here in 2000, that was like your first San Francisco appearance in 10 years. And now we've, now it's, so, so don't wait another 10 years before no, coming back here again. No, I remember, yeah, we played the Stone a couple of times. Yeah. I, I heard this. Yeah, yeah I, was, I, was at, I was at the first time you played the Stone. No way. I was there in the front row. And, and no that's, way. I got I to gotta share with wow. you that, 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 that particular concert, Triumph and Agony Tour, your first time with the Stone, yeah. was one of the most greatest concerts I've ever seen. That's one of those concerts that was just like a religious experience for me because I've been waiting like four years to see you, to see Warlock, and I just, you know, I was in ecstasy with that show. I mean, I, I just went, I lost my mind at that show. And one time, I think, when we played in the Stone, I think James Hetfield came yeah. and said hi, and he came to the show, and wow, I was so happy, and you know, I was a big Metallica fan, I still yeah. am. And, yeah. You know, and, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I think I remember see, seeing him, him yeah, in the, one of those shows, and, and yeah, yeah, yeah. And, the bar. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, yeah, yeah, because it's been so long time, I kind of had a feeling you were probably going to break out a lot of old school stuff tonight, which you did. Yes, yes. I guess most of your American fans would want to hear that. You know? Yes, I, I mean, yeah, we have now um, 17 records out, so I always want to make sure that we play all the highlights of each record, which is almost impossible because there's so many songs, but I always try to pick yeah. the best ones. Honestly, tonight was the equivalent of that very first time I saw Warlock at the Stone. Tonight, tonight was just, just the equivalent of that because we just got this full show and you brought out all, the, all these old classics, you know, and, and, and I was just to, to, totally into it. <laughs>
current record out, Raise Your Fist, which has been mm -hmm. out, uh, like, how, how long now? It came um, out, like, middle of last year or late last year? Actually, late last year. It came out in Europe in October and in the States in November. Yeah, yeah, with a great title track. That's, that was the first single that came out, the Raise yeah, Your Fist. Raise your fist. It's such a great yeah. single on that one. It is, no? It makes people happy, and it's, uh, it really reminds me a little bit on All We Are. Everybody yeah. sings along, yeah. you know, and when everybody has the fist in the air, oh, it looks so great. When you're on stage and when you see that, oh, this is very yeah, energizing. <laughs> Of course, you know, you know, you were talking about your tours with Dio. You got the song Hero, your tribute yes. song to Ronnie. Yeah, yeah, it's, um, yeah, actually, it was the first song we wrote for this record, Raise Your Fist, and it definitely came out, you know, deep out of the heart. I and mean, yeah, it brought a tear to my eye the first time I heard it. In fact, every time, in fact, I don't listen to it very much because it, it always makes me almost want to cry. Like, I'm riding to the bus and I'm like, I'm going to start crying. Yeah. And yeah. even tonight, it brought, a, it brought a tear to my eye tonight when you played it. Yeah, I, I, I feel the same, especially when we play it live and then when I see in people's faces and I yeah. see, you know, I see how much, yeah. how much yeah. love there is and, um, yeah. <laughs> A rainbow in a dark, a mystery, and part of the song kind of sounds yeah. like last in line. Yes, yeah. Of... When we uh, wrote Hero, then I wanted to yeah, have all like his, like, you know, his lyrics a little bit in it and then, you know, combine it, what yeah. he means to Dragons us. And queens, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Last time we interviewed you, viewed you um, um, I actually uh, ma 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 mailed you a, a tape, and I remember you actually called me from Germany, left a message in the machine, thanking me for sending that, and that meant a lot to me because a lot of people wouldn't do that. Some people are too big of rock stars to do that. I'm just so glad that you actually thought enough to give me a call and thank me for the tape and tell me that you watched it. You know, it uh, I'd say it goes without saying, and and to me that is really my life the metal world and you know including journalists and video people and all the fans it, it means so much to me that i always try to yeah to answer every letter or to you know to call or to yeah. thank people yeah. it's it's sometimes not possible to do it you know uh, you know when we play like 
you yeah. know, in America, then I always concentrate on American okay. things. And then I think, oh shit, you know, I forgot like all the fans from China or Japan. Yeah. And sometimes it's so funny, like people write in their language, but you can't read it, like, you know, like when Chinese or Japanese is like, you know, so if they don't get a phone call or if I don't write back, it's for that reason that it's yes. like, you know. You have a lot of different fan clubs. Are you involved in any of them or they're just, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah um, we have all kinds of fan clubs all around the world. And, you know, I always try and, um, but, you know, sometimes it's, it's important possible to keep track of everything but uh, but I always try and we do some nice fan club meetings you know once a year or when a record is coming out so and yeah yeah we we yeah. try to keep that going and but um, yeah sometimes people they just do fan clubs and websites and you know and I don't even know you know I don't know the people like in South America we have lots of Brazilian fans and and um, they do so much great stuff. And I just heard there was a Doro day on my birthday oh. and they did like concerts and, you know, had some tribute bands and it was so great. But <laughs> Yeah, that's the latest one that's out <laughs> and, uh, I, on Nuclear Blast Records. Are, a little sticker, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I, when I go to concerts, I always want to hear the highlights too. Yes. So, and I know, and I'm a metal head, I'm a metal fan, and I don't want to hear only the new record. So, you know, so we play a couple of tunes. <laughs> You started a movie a few years ago. You're playing a Viking warrior queen or something? Uh, yeah, it was actually not Viking, but I was a, a warrior. And the film was called Anuk, the Path of the Warrior. And I just filmed the second part of it. And actually, just before the um, America tour started, I finished filming. It was and Germany it was, only, right? And no, <laughs> actually, they want to try to, to, you know, to get better distribution and to do like, you know, Dub it in English. an English version. Yes, yeah. yeah. And um, you dub your own voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably, probably. Okay. And actually, yeah, it's it's probably coming out in a year. And I think it's great. And it was so much great fun. And um, yeah, and actually that inspires me, inspires me to do more music and stuff. And But it was hardcore. I felt like in boot camp. I almost died. Yeah. It's so hard to do a movie, I tell you. I have lots of respect for all the actors now, especially doing action movies, because everything can go wrong. And you know, you play with your life at sometimes. So, but it was great, it was great. <laughs> I love the fans forever, for immer. You guys are always deep inside my heart, and I want to say thank you to you guys and for to everybody who supports metal. And yeah, and I hope I see you soon. I wish everybody the best. Metal, keep metal alive. Rock on, guys. We love, love you, Dora. You. We love you. I love you. All right. <laughs>